Hello, SGD, Sacred Geometry Decoded, and I want to look further into some very peculiar connections and alignments between the ancient and the modern world connect, connected to ancient mystery cults. So, well, ac across the world. Now, in the previous episodes, we looked at, uh, for instance, the connections between, for instance, Heliopolis in Egypt, uh, the ancient cent where the Atun uh, cult was and the uh, centre of astronomy, even for instance Strabo said the that was the centre of astronomy, the chief of the, the chief priest there was called the chief of the observers in Heliopolis in Now what's also interesting is if you track it's also been uh oh, now I forget the name but the video um documentary was called Time scanners where he traveled around the world using the uh, best recent equipment uh, to do some excellent survey work. Now, the Great Pyramid, referred to sometimes as the navel of the earth or the omphalus or the umbilicus. Now, if I let's just do an alignment to Heliopolis, this center of astronomy and art, and there's uh, now. For instance, Cleopatra's Needles in London and New York were originally, uh, along with many in Rome and uh, elsewhere in the world, but uh, especially Rome. Now, these obelisks originally were from Heliopolis. And what you have is that from the southwest corner, passing through the northwest corner we have an alignment to Heliopolis and uh, also so the obelisks represent the sun sun rays but we also have uh, so we have that alignment now Heliopolis was also originally they had a Ben Ben stone and the idea was that was a, a primordial mound where the sun would first touch the the emergence now. Where are we now the Vortrekka monument in South Africa. That's an interesting one as well. Now, where are we? Let's see. Okay, the Vortrekka monument by a very interesting architect. So that's the Vortrekka monument itself. Now, uh, there's a few interesting things. Now, the original Vortrekker monument included sphinxes and obelisks. It was so controversial that they had to change the plan because people were saying, well, what's Egypt? Ancient Egypt has to do with this uh, memorial. Well, by the artist's own description, this is full of sacred geometry and other very interesting connections. But what you have here in the center, so there we see the roof the ceiling and there's a small aperture there and that allows a sun ray to come through. Now that symbol itself is connection to uh, Artan and even the sun symbol of a hydrogen symbol even. Now what happens is on December 16th a beam of light shines through here, shines down through the well and touches the cenotaph, the sacred stone, the, the Ben Ben stone. Now around that there are 32 rays, so 33rd sun ray will shine through, hit this Ben Ben stone, a symbolic rebirth, and also around the outside we have a double chevron, the water sign, the hieroglyph for water. Now this is, uh, it's, a, it's an Egyptian temple, it's there in South America, I'll do uh, South Africa now, I'll come back to this because uh, Jeff Lewis, a uh, good friend here in Australia, pointed out the alignments between other similar um, memorials, but uh, the architect Gerard uh, Mutke, uh, I forget the pronunci exact pronunciation, but by his own description, the cenotaph, the stone, is a is a Ben Ben stone, is creation myth, where the sun shines through and the stone is ri rises above the waters. This concept of this primordial mount from the watery abyss, the, du the double chevron, the hieroglyph, water hieroglyph, connecting. The 32nd, 32 around the outside, and the 33rd. Now he based this on some other, um, now in 
what's the name of a temple? The Huat Ben Ben mansions, yeah, Huat Ben Ben, the mansions of the Ben Ben built by Ar um, Arkhenaten and Nefertiti, and temples of Karnak as well. But what's also interesting about this particular temple is that there are 377 steps. I'll put the links for recent episodes, London, New York, Great Pyramid, Connections, Heliopolis, because the Statue of Liberty, which is very, very Mithraic, where's the picture? I thought I had opened it. This, well, there are 377 steps. I can find the picture. Now this number 377 is of huge, huge importance across the ancient world, but there are 377 steps from the lobby to the crown, uh, and also this Bartholdi being a mason, has we have 377 steps to the Vortrekka monument. Now that brings us to another very important uh, sculptor, artist, who has his, he works in the esoteric and these ancient traditions, he gets prime commissions in prime locations, and that's Anish Kapoor. And speaking of 377, Anish Kapoor is the designer of the um, Arcella Mittal sculpture, this helix, which is 377 feet. Now, across the Modern, the ancient world, we find the use of 377 being connected to Fibonacci numbers, but of really, really, really important, and you'll find it uh, everywhere in cathedrals, um, in uh, Stonehenge, and there's a, a other stone circle, uh, and other ancient sites where this number 377, and it's still being used today. Now, for instance, the, uh, 377 feet long, 33 feet, but 34 diameter, including, uh, so 34 over 377 Fibonacci numbers. Now, what else has Anish Kapoor done, apart from uh, in London, is the Cloud Gate in Chicago. Now, the Cloud Gate has an omphalus underneath, and this is an important feature. Remember, this the omphalus, or the navel. Now, it's just full of all the numbers, uh, sacred number and ancient systems of measure, but it's also a direct connection to the Great Pyramid because it's at 14 to 11, which is this triangle, whether it's the green or the white triangle, that is what Anish Kapoor and many other uh, hidden in plain sight architecture of the modern world. But the important part here is especially the use of the omphalus or the navel of the world, which is a which will carry on. So, Great Pyramid. Now, that Great Pyramid plan was the same which links, uh, well, London and New York. So, links in the description to that. But centers of the world, centers of power, and especially the use of these important stones. So, Great Pyramid connection. So, for instance, the that's that pyramid, that same Anish Kapoor. And, and others, uh, Albrecht Jura, that, that's 14 to 11, or 11 to 7, if you use the whole triangle, but the right angle triangle, five proportions, and of course that obelisk originally in Heliopolis, then they were moved to Alexandria and Pharos, where this alignment is, and then if we go over to the London Stone or Cleopatra's Needles. We see how that alignment brings us to this important feature. Now, the London Stone is now uh, worth looking at because we can get rid of these angles. So, the London Stone, uh, again, links in the description previous episodes because there's a bit there. So, with Cleopatra's Needles uh, or the London Stone, which passes through uh, the Mithraeum Watling Street. Uh, through the uh, Greenwich Observatory, which is so important. And set centres of these links will be in the description. There we have the London Stone. Now we need to look at... Okay, the London Stone, 
it's important now very different okay i mentioned the 32 around the 33 at the vortrekker and the ben ben stone there and the mansions of light is also connected to arcanat and nefertiti well we have the city of london being the center of the 33 boroughs the 33rd at the center being the city of london and at alignment the london stone uh, uh, it's or it's very old uh the it's a bit mysterious but what we see that lit refer to um at least to 1188 that it's a malarium or a milestone a center from where measures are taken it's at london is at the center of the british empire the city of london is at the center of london and the london stone at the center of the city of london which brings us to all roads lead to rome so similar to that london stone in rome itself we have the um, umbilicus urbis or the navel of the city the on phallus of the city and not too far away we have the golden milestone so both these are the symbolic centers of rome this was first and uh, augustus i think moved it but we very very short distance so all roads are measured from this site milestones malariums now in here in sydney we have the uh, macquarie place obelisk uh, originated by governor macquarie this obelisk uh to record that well that all the public roads leading to the interior of the col colony are measured from this obelisk we even see so there's a connection there so just like the, uh, the golden milestone or the umbilicus now umbilicus or navel or on phallus which brings us to the temple of apollo in delphi which was the center of the greek world or or a center of the greek world uh, on phallus skeptus navel gazing uh, now that's a f ancient form of meditation well this will connect now uh, one of the original references in the greek tradition to the on phallus was back to the, the titans and and the olympian gods Cronos ate all his children except for Zeus who was saved now to save Zeus from this fate Rhea fed Cronos on, on phallus she put a stone wrapped it in swaddling clothes to make it appear as a baby he ate it then he vomited out his children this led to the, the Olympians overthrowing the Titans which brings us back to the temple of Apollo at Delphi now to find the center of the world Zeus sent out two eagles in opposite directions. They met above Delphi. He threw down a stone to mark that as the center of the earth, the center of the cosmos. Here is one of the omphalus at Delphi, the navel, the center of the world, and also of a center of creation, just like the primordial mounds. This is from where the world uh, began. Also at the temple of Apollo in Delphi was the famous oracle, uh, above the forecourt of this temple was the so two eagles met above and they also had novi self the pythia python oracle of delphi resided here at the center of the greek world now also mentioned now two eagles meeting one, above one another you can find this symbolism carrying through for so the masonic tradition kersher and uh, very strong alchemical connections there is suggestions that john d uh, took chippings from the London Stone for his alchemical experiments, but we find uh, the double-headed eagle like a constant, constant um, uh, in Western Christianity. Uh, also, all well, the keys of the, of the hierophant, that's something else, but also important even in uh, Islamic tradition. Ancient um, stupa here in Pakistan, and we have the double-headed eagle as well as corinthian columns as well now and but of course the double-headed eagle and the hittite empire which brings us back to this novi self the two eagles meeting above the temple of apollo at delphi where we had one of the navels or the centers of the world uh i'll do more okay more to come i'm gonna this will be uh First, but, but as seen in the movie 300, King Leonides went to the Oracle at Delphi, ask the Oracle, know thyself, and we'll carry on in the next episode. So, 
uh, I'll be following very shortly. Have a good one.